Hello again, and welcome to this video on learning a piece all the way from the beginning, all the way to getting it up to a really high artistic level. This is for beginners, and I hope that you are enjoying it so far. If you're just finding this video and coming into it right now, I suggest that you go back to video number one and jump onto it right there and then come through or else you won't really know what is going on. So with this step, we have now made small sections we have looked at all the notes in the musical markings. We have clapped the rhythm, make sure we know what the rhythm is doing. We've also looked at the dynamics, though we might do that at the end if we're just starting out. We might save that step for later, but if you can, then go ahead and do it. Then now what we're gonna do is play our right hand all by itself, no left hand. And this is a step that people are really tempted to skip, but don't do it because otherwise you'll get into the left hand all your attention goes there and then your right hand just never really gets worked out and you just play with whatever finger comes and if you're really interested in growing over time as a classical guitarist you're going to need extreme control over your right hand that's kind of the name of the game that's what sets classical guitarists apart from other guitarists finger style guitarists rock guitarists folk guitarists is the fact that we can do amazing things with our right hands we can get different tones we can play stuff that People, other people can't play because we put this time in and we do this step right here. So with that, let's just jump into the right hand on this piece. So what I've done for you is on the page with the small sections, I have color coded. You can download all these PDFs for all of the sheets that we're using in these videos down below. Just find the, find the link. What I've done is I've color coded by string. And so this magenta color right here is the second string. This olive color is the E string. Down here, the green is the, is the fourth string, the D string. So I've just color coded that. So for right now, all we're going to look at is what string is this on? We're not gonna look at where the notes are. You end up visualizing the note in your head because you have to figure out what string it's on. So you're obviously gonna find, oh, that's on the first fret of the second string. You're gonna play the second string because we're just gonna be using open strings on this particular step. So let's look at actually doing that then. So just for this very first section here, we're just gonna play just the open strings using the right finger. And the fingers are, if you recall, these M, I, M, I, M, P, P over here. And so we're going to use the, the P, I, M, A. We're going to use these to play whatever string. So the very first note, we're just going to go slow through this and get it exactly right. The fewer mistakes you make, the faster you will learn it. So yes, you're going to be going slow to get all the notes, right? To get it all in the right spot but you'll actually be learning so much faster because you won't have to go and relearn all of these things. So every time you make a mistake, you're training yourself to make that mistake again. You have to dilute it out, dilute it with, with right notes to do it. So the very first one is the B string with the M finger. And then the second note is the I finger. Oops, on the second string as well. So we have M, I on the second string. Then we have M on the first string, then we have I on the second string, then we have M on the second string, and then we have two thumbs. Now notice my rhythm was not totally steady on that, right? We gotta pick and choose what we're doing. We'll add the rhythm back in a minute, but at first off, just get it. Just get what notes are playing what, or what fingers are pl playing what strings in what order, and then we'll put the order in. So now that we've figured that out, now, and it might take you a couple of passes through, or you might have to actually split this section into an even smaller section. And that's perfectly fine too, just maybe a couple of notes. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in time, count out loud, and play it as well, just, just open strings. The left hand can go out for pizza. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There it is. And so you do this several times. I'm not gonna do it here because you don't wanna watch me do this a bunch of times. But practice this slowly until you can really get it. And then just start getting it a little bit quicker and quicker to where you can actually like really get this as if this were all there was. This is the entire piece. Now, if you really wanna go the extra mile, 
get this up to faster than you would even need to play the piece at the end. So you can actually just go ahead and work out the right hand fingering before you even deal with the left and get it up to speed. Like if it was this fast, then practice it all the way up to that and even a little bit faster so that it'll be easier when you come back down to it. Now, just like we had the extra video in there about dynamics, if you went ahead and did that, then at this section, at this stage right now, you would actually add in your dynamics. And so we're gonna do that. I will just um, put them in. Remember, we're just not accenting the high note. We're getting softer as we get up, as we go up the line, and then louder as we come back down. And then the repeated notes, crescendo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. We'll just do it right now, counting out loud. Ready, and one, two, three, four, one. And so we're doing it with our mouth. We're doing it actually counting out loud. We're putting it all together and really wrapping our heads. Now, if you're not counting out loud and if you're not doing the dynamics and everything with your voice, then you probably don't really know them as well as you think you do. Because if you really know them, then you can do it. It's one of those things. I can ask you where you, you know your address. You don't have to think about it. Um, you know, if you actually, if I said, what's the address for three doors down, you might have to think about it for a second. You can figure it out. You want to know it as well as your address, your phone number, whatever it is. One more time. Extreme dynamics on this. We want to really extreme things like this. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. Exaggerate like crazy the dynamics on all of this. And so that is how you would go about the right hand by itself and then get it all the way up to tempo using the dynamics as well. The more time you spend on these type of things, the better your playing will be. You will progress way fast and you'll learn pieces much faster. Okay, in the next video, we will be looking at the left hand. And so let's go do it. See you there.